Hey everyone, welcome to part 4 of the uh, FPS tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be working on our AI script. So let's go ahead and open our AI script and let's do the following. Let's put the poly, following variables poly transform enemy, poly transform target, public camera main cam. Public int damage, public integer uh, attack speed, public integer speed, public integer attack radius, public flow distance. Public bull attacking, public bull waiting, and public bull in view. Right now we got that sort of. Let's go down into our. Let's change the damage to a little day because we've got already a damage function. Brilliant. Let's come down to the update function and let's start writing if target equals no, target equals game object dot find with tag Distance equals vector three dot distance target dot position and dot position. So we get the distance between our two targets to work out whether they're close enough to inflict damage or not. Um, if distance is over attack radius and in view, attacking equals false. And waiting equals false. If attacking and mm, and not waiting and health. Over zero, call a function called strike. Let's make a function called strike. We'll come back to that. If distance. Attack radius. Now that's all sorted. Let's go ahead and come back to our weapon script. Then come down and copy our raycast um, section. Just come back to there, paste it in. So 
So let's change the hit collider dot gamma j dot tag equals player. is under or equal to uh, total radius attacking equals true else attacking equals false And let's start a routine. Struct away. Go ahead and check this out and see if we got that to run functionally. So the enemy, let's drag that onto there. The target will automatically assign. And let's go ahead and make a camera for our enemy. So let's go gamma j to camera. Put her. Uh, put her on the top here. Let's see if that turns around real time. To the errors, let's go to enemy, let's assign the camera. Switch attack speed on one, speed on one for now, and DS damage. Put damage on 25. Alright, so then let's get attack radius and put it on 
guy too. And let's see if the camera turns around. So the player is getting attacked in a second when they are too close. So when he's uh, that far away from the enemy. Now what we need to do from here is come back over to the update function. Go. This target does not equal null. Then any dot look at target. Let's give that a shot. Ah, oh, brilliant! Now, as you see, the player will the enemy will slowly move towards the player. So now we have an AI that chases us, and then when they get too close, you can see oh, that's a weapon. We'll get to that on the next episode. And until then, you see when we get too close, the player periodically attacks. So next episode, we'll quickly just do it so the AI can damage the player. And uh, we'll get to that real quick. I'll get straight into the next watch, guys. Please stay tuned uh, for more. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.